How's it going guys? Today we're going to go over comparators and how those are going to be used to um, compact our logic gates that we made in the first tutorial. Um, and then after that we're going to be doing in the next tutorial addition and subtraction. And I'm going to go over how exactly things go. So 4 is going to be a little bit longer of a tutorial than say this one is going to be. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this logic gate, the NOT gate, and we're going to see how we can compact this, or not really compact it, but an alternate way to do a NOT gate. So let's come up here. We're going to have full signal strength in the back, and we're going to have our signal strength in like that, we're going to have it on subtraction mode. So now, whenever we input our data, it's not the output. So we have nothing coming in, we have something coming out, we have something coming in, we don't have something coming out. Um, this works uh, up based on signal strength, so basically your signal will be weaker the further away the power is, but it will still be an inverter uh, to a certain extent. The signal will die out faster, basically. So since comparators work with signal strength a lot, normally you want, if you're going to do a gate like this, You'd want to do it like that. You'd want to have your comparator there, or your repeater, into it so it has full signal strength going in. And there's our NOT gate. Now, there's not really a need to make an OR gate out of comparators, because it'd just be super slow. As you can see here, we're not using anything other than uh, uh, repeaters to input data, and then just this repeater just pulls data out. But there's really no logic going on here except for ORing them together, so that's why we don't need anything there. We can make a NOR gate by, of course, having the NOR and then just using a comparator output. Now an AND gate. Now this one's a little bit fancy. An AND gate works on the premises of having um, this right here be inverted. Like so. And this works on the premise of like that. So basically this is has to be on subtraction mode, same as that comparator over there. And what happens is, since it's on subtraction mode, um, we enter a full value, and it's subtracting this value from what we enter, and it's getting nothing as a result. When we do this, we are turning it off, we're not giving any power into the subtraction mode, and we power into this one, and it allows data to go through. So that's how the AND gate works using comparators. This is uh, much faster than using um, this AND gate design, and the reason is this AND gate design is two ticks. Um, it's a tick on the input right here for this torch, and it's a tick on the output here for this torch. On this, we have a one tick throughput, so this is a two tick throughput, this is a one tick throughput with a one tick delay on the switch. So that's how that works. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to build an X or gate three different ways using comparators. Um, so we're gonna, the first way that we're gonna do this is we're actually gonna do it like this. Our inputs are gonna be here. We're gonna have our register and dust here. We're gonna put two comparators in subtraction mode like that. And then like this. So now what happens if we power this one on? Um, and our output is like that power this one on, it subtracts the signal strength from over here, but it allows it to go through over here. If we power this one on, it does the same thing on the opposite side. If we put both on, it cuts the signal on both sides, and then doesn't allow an output. So that's how the comparator uh, XOR gate works. Now there's another way to build a, the same gate, same design, without the repeaters here to slowing it, to slow it down. Instead, we put two upside down half slabs like this. Um, Put our two comparators like this. And do that. Now we just have to make sure that our inputs are equal to the same amount of distance away. So this input for, should not be like this. They should be the same, which would be this. And our output is the same. And remember, you are working with comparators, so signal strength matters. So this does the same thing. This prevents it coming from over here and then powering onto this side. Then this prevents it from coming over here, but the moment we do both, 
it stops the output, so that's the XOR gate. And last but not least, there's a final way to build an XOR gate, which if we put a comparator like this, um, put a comparator like this here, and this is our output right here, we then have to figure out a way to hook these up. So this one and this one are going to be together. So this is going to have to be changed in a second, but that and that have to be hooked up. And then we go, oops, there we go. This has to come up like this. And if I'm not mistaken, that will power into that, yep. And then we have to also power into, oops, that, and that. So we can actually reduce that size down there. Um, and we can do this, I guess, this will work. Just, and then here are our inputs, and we want our inputs to be equal distance away from each other. So if you notice, one, two is away from there, one, two away from there, um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, same distance away everywhere. So if we uh, do this, you'll notice that this gets power down to here and blocks power to go down here. If we then do this one, it comes down here and blocks power to come through. If we do both at the same time, what? Give me a second. One. Or the other. Oh, this is an issue. Because mm -hmm. I'm stupid, I'm having it go to the same one twice. Needs to be done like this. There we go. And this now it works. Now, like I said, this is all based on signal strength, so you are going to have to have um, a certain amount after it. So basically, this is what most people do. They do it like that. So we have one on, we get an output. We have the other one on, we get an output. We have both on, we don't get an output. And that's the three different ways to make a comparator XOR that are, you know, most commonly used. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. If you're wondering the texture pack I have, that is um, my custom texture pack. I have a video out on my channel if you guys like it that much, and you can download it for yourself. Um, it's not completely finished. Well, I guess it is completely finished, but there's I didn't do all the blocks. So yeah, so if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.